In China, we say be like a panda because he's white, black, and Asian. Giant panda twins Mei Lun and Mei Huan were sent back to China from Atlanta Zoo on November the third. According to Time, they are the first to be born in the United States since 1987. The two countries have agreed that panda twins would be sent back to China when they reach three years old for sexual maturity. These are the two guys who just lost their jobs in the States. You know who stole their jobs? Of course China! Hey, here comes a question. Can you tell one panda from the other? Of course not! Because pandas are Asians. To you, they look the same. On a positive note, the giant panda is no longer an endangered species. In September 2016, the International Union for Conservation of Nature identified the adorable animal's new designation as vulnerable after half a century's efforts by the Chinese government to reverse the slide of its population. Pandas, pandas, you know pandas always have this problem of low birth rates. You know how hard these breeders have to try? They've been trying to make them fall in love with each other, but they can't make it. So sometimes the breeders even have to try to use the panda porns. Damn, wrong clip. You know what I'm saying? In the end, a little porn, candles, and spit nothings did help save the pandas. Now the twins are off to find their own partners and do their civic duty. If you know what I mean. Know what I mean, know what I mean. Nudge, 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 nudge. Pandas originated from China, making them a cultural icon around the world. They have appeared in everything from blockbuster movies like Kung Fu Panda to Wicked Tattoos. Everyone seems to love these cute bears. To some extent, pandas have even helped China in foreign relations. In 1972, a panda was given to American President Richard Nixon as a gift. Pandas have also been sent to other countries, such as Britain, Germany, Japan, Thailand, Mexico, Australia, and Soviet Union. Obviously, the rest of the world has learned more about Chinese culture through pandas, and they have bridged China to the world. You know what? Last time I asked Panda if he was my friend, and he said, just barely. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and like us.